So, hey, welcome to the Metropolis Zone. This zone is fucking long and difficult. And the main reason it's so hard is because it has a lot of fucking bad nicks that are fucking annoying. But it also has other stuff that's fucking difficult as well. But mainly the bad nicks. And first up, we got Slicer, who is annoying as shit. His attack is fucking hard as hell to dodge. But after he fires his little slicers at you, he's really easy to kill. It doesn't have any defenses. So that's why he gets 4, not 5, if you're wondering. This guy, though, Shellcracker, he gets 5 because his hitbox is so small. And the hitbox on his claw, the damage box, I guess you could call it, is so big, it's just fucking hard to hurt him. And oh my fucking god, this guy is my fucking nightmare. This guy is so cunty. He is the new king of cunts. He just, he, he explodes like the bomb, and he go, fires his 5 points in different directions. You'll understand when you see the video. He's so cunty. SO CUNTY! Don't even understand. Holy fucking shit. Fucking holy shit. He's so cunty. You'll see. So, uh, yeah. Welcome to the Metropolis Zone. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Even though I'm gonna complain and scream and whine about it this whole video. Overall, let me just flat out state before I get really pissed off watching this. That I do like this zone. It is a good zone. It is challenging. It's hard, it's difficult, and that's good, because this game, especially, is not that hard in total. I mean, the endings, like, part, like this, and the next couple parts, and they're not easy. But, this is fucking hard. This is the hardest zone I've ever played in a Sonic game. This is my answer to people who say that Sonic's easy, all you do is hold right, and then jump. No, it is not easy. This is not easy. This is fucking hard. If you think Sonic is easy, you play this shit and look me in the eye. Tell me you think it's easy. I'll kick you in the dick, but you know, because you're lying. So anyways, as you've seen, the enemies are fucking annoying as shit. They are annoying as shit. They are so hard to dodge and kill. These aren't bad. You just got to have a little patience. And I actually kind of like these bouncy things. I don't know why. They're just kind of neat. There's a lot of checkpoints in this video, in this level rather, and that's good, you know, because they're fucking useful as shit, because you are in constant danger. These corks, or not corks, these screws are fucking, like, I don't like them. I mean, they're kind of cool, but at the same time, they're annoying and they're fucking dangerous. But one cool thing about them is you can basically be like, fuck you, Tails, you bitch. So let's keep on trucking here. Oh, fucking crab. What is your fucking problem? I don't know why all the enemies in the zone have, like, fucking superpowers compared to regular badniks. Like, look at the fucking crab-themed badnik from Sonic 1. Then look at this guy. So different. Hold on. Fuck you, Tails. So, uh... God, fuck you, Tails, you stupid bitch. I don't know why I was even defending you the first time I introduced you. What are you doing?! What are you doing, Tails? What the hell is your problem? I don't know. Stop it! Stop it! You are... When he does that, you see how he, like, freaks out on the edge? It doesn't seem like it's that bad, but a lot of times that's close enough to activate those starfish, when a lot of other times it would be fine if he was just doing what he's supposed to do. Look, I managed to fucking lose him this time. See how the starfish are... they just don't do shit? Like, it's finally when I get invincibility, they don't bother. But it's because I'm fucking far enough away that they wouldn't bother attacking me. But if Tails was doing that stupid thing where he, like, freaks out on the edge of the screw, that would have triggered them, so it's bad when he does that. Oh shit, Supersonic, I almost forgot. So yeah, luckily, this is a good place to have Supersonic, because this level is not easy. And Supersonic, it makes it a breeze, is what it does, because Supersonic is a fucking cool guy. So yeah. Uh, that's the bad thing about Super Sonic, as you saw there. Little precise jumps like that, fucking hard to make, because you're like on crack, you just go so fast. But one interesting thing about this part of the level is it loops infinitely and vertically, so... As you can see, we're already back to this place again. So let's give that another shot, shall we? It's not too hard if you're just paying attention. So... Yeah, see, look at these fucking go ahead, explode. I don't even give a shit. I'm supersonic. Can't do shit, supersonic. Oh, yeah, but like I say, infinitely vertically looping, which is pretty cool for getting some good speed. If you want to do that, I don't know. Sonny, what the fuck? Alright, okay, here I am. So, yeah, here, anyways, we're already at the end of the level, so that's that. 
overall difficult long not too bad though it gets harder trust me so uh yeah act two definitely more difficult and why is that well something i forgot to mention in the hilltop zone is that this zone also has lava which it's actually not too bad considering it's not nearly there's not nearly as much of it as there was in hilltop zone this isn't really a lava level i mean they didn't even introduce the fucking lava until this part of the level so it's not too bad but it's like they just couldn't get enough of things that are annoying and difficult, so they added lava as well to the mix. It's like, this zone doesn't need to be any more challenging than it already is. It's already difficult enough with these fucking platforms and badniks and spikes on the fucking ceiling and squashers. These squashers are a pain in the ass if you don't do what I do here, and then just jump on top of them. Don't try and go on the conveyor belt. Just don't. It's fucking suicide. I swear to god, it must be impossible, because I've never once done it. Oh yeah, one important thing to note about those fucking starfish, is that their spike- their spikities stay on the screen for as long as you let them. So, fucking, don't think that they won't come back and get you, just because the guy's fucking exploded a long way away. That crab always gets me if I don't get hit by something and have the momentary invulnerability. That crab, that one in- oh, what the fuck? Well, I guess that's kind of my fault. But you're just so used to enemies having these gracious hitboxes. But these ones have fucking tiny ass hitboxes. You gotta be precise where you hit these guys. That guy, at least. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, that one crab in the corridor. He's like fucking. He's my nightmare. I hate him so much. Now, this guy, oh yeah, I think I get him. But no, his fucking spiker, spikities, his slicers, they come back from the ceiling and they get me. That is fucking infuriating. I was infuriated when I was playing this. I was steaming at every orifice on my face, including my eyes. I was that upset. Seriously. I don't mind these. I think other people, like, hate these, but I think they're... They're easy. Just be patient. I fucking relish any opportunity to just kind of stand still. Fucking get my bearings in this level. This level is so difficult. So difficult. I mean, here. This part, there's like, this is where I, this fucking star is like, the, you gotta let them explode and let all their shit get off the screen, because I was gonna, I wouldn't have gotten hit by that if I just let the other one go off the screen, because I had to try and dodge that in the air. And then, I fucking bounce into that. Holy shit. Are you serious? Yes. So the lesson, one tip I can give you, that might make your life a little easier if you decide to play this zone for whatever reason, is do not... Just, like, let those things go on this- What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with Tails? Holy shit. Tails, you've got serious issues. You need to, like, see a doctor. But anyways, you might be a little confused now. It's the end of Act 2, and, uh, what's that another fucking signpost? Yeah. Metropolis Zone, as if it wasn't already similar enough to Scrap Brain Zone, has three acts. Now, I might be mistaken, but I believe the reason for this is because... There were some guys working on another zone, but that zone got scrapped, so they sent the guys to work on the Tropical Zone, and so they just had a lot of extra time, so they made another zone. I think it was Genocide City or something, I don't know, I'll talk about it in a bonus video. But, uh, yeah. So, more of the same? You bet. Goddamn, motherfucking son of a bitch.